Hi, Chris with RC Worst here. Welcome to another video. Today we are talking about troubleshooting submersible well pumps. So I'd like to welcome you to the RC Worst pump testing facility. This specifically is the water pump testing side of things. Before we begin troubleshooting, I just wanted to introduce everyone to the uh, pump testing facility because everything you see here is probably not going to be exactly what you've got at home or in your particular application. We've got a few uh, differences here just because this is a, an area that's used to test a variety of different pumps. So we've got uh, a slightly undersized pressure tank for this particular application, but we're not going to be cycling the pump much or anything along those lines. This is just for demonstration purposes. We also have the control box just kind of mounted to the wall over here. Uh, just found a spot. That's where we put it. And I don't necessarily recommend that that's where you put it in your situation. Um, here's our power breaker over here. So you may see me going over there every now and again or mentioning uh, to shut off the breaker and that's what I'm referring to. Uh, the way that our testing system works is underneath me, we have a relatively large uh, hole in the ground, a sump, and uh, it's about 12 feet deep and we're able to test a variety of pumps. Uh, in this particular example, we're using a three quarter horsepower pump and motor. Uh, so we'll be doing most of our readings based on that but I'll refer you to some uh, documents and so forth that you're able to check based on what you have in your application. Uh, and then finally, what you see behind me, we have some red hose. Uh, what that does is that just goes to our system here and it circulates back into the tank. So we're just circulating water today, uh, just for example purposes. We're gonna go over uh, a, a number of different troubleshooting techniques that you can use to save money before calling a professional to have a better idea of what's going wrong with your well. Uh, so what we're going to go over is both complete failure where you have absolutely no water or also uh, the situations where the pump isn't running as it normally was. So for example, uh, decreased pressure or decreased flow, something along those lines. So we'll run through all the different scenarios, the troubleshooting steps and so forth. Before we begin, I want to remind everyone that we will be working with electricity today. So. Electricity, if you're not uh, confident or comfortable working with that, uh, make sure that you call a professional because you can definitely really get hurt. So when you run into trouble with your well, there's really only gonna be three main situations or three main causes for that. You're gonna have worn out and failed equipment, you're gonna have leaks, or you're gonna have insufficient power supply. So keep those in mind as we go through these troubleshooting. And the way that this video is gonna be structured is I'm going to list a set of symptoms that you may be experiencing, and then we'll delve into the troubleshooting techniques specific to those symptoms. So we're gonna have six separate videos that go through the troubleshooting steps for each one of those individual systems. And those are motor starts too frequently, motor doesn't start at all, motor doesn't shut off, your operating pressure is too low, operating pressure is too high, or your overloads are tripping too frequently. All right, so stay tuned. Those videos are coming. If you want, feel free to jump ahead in this playlist. Otherwise, uh, sit back and enjoy. 